So who did you vote for in the last election? I didn't. Really? Yeah, I mean, what difference does it make? It's not like my vote would have mattered. Are you happy with how things are going? I... I don't complain. Look at this. When was the last time you really felt the country was on the right track? It's probably been a while. Our politicians are not being straight with us. Each party offers painless solutions that protect special interests and reward millionaire lobbyists. At a time when America is going to choose our next president, let's begin a serious discussion about how best to proceed as a nation. Americans deserve constructive solutions to the challenges facing our country. What if bold tax reform freed the vast majority of Americans from having to file a tax return with the IRS? Wouldn't that be better than the mess we have now and also grow our economy? What if Wall Street and the big banks followed the law and played by the same rules as everybody else? Wouldn't that restore our sense of fair play? What if we collectively shared the sacrifices required to guarantee our freedoms? Wouldn't that strengthen our communities and our belief in each other? What if we made real, balanced reforms to our entitlement programs? Wouldn't that assure their continued viability and provide a better future for our youth? What if we rewrote our immigration laws to control our borders and reinforce the American tradition of assimilation? Wouldn't that save us from following Europe into incoherence, chaos, and grave division over how best to confront radical Islam? What if our president served only a single term? Wouldn't that keep re-election politics out of Oval Office decision-making? None of this will be easy, but Americans will do their part if the president levels with the people. I will. My name is Mark Everson, and I am running for President of the United States. I respectfully ask for your support. Under President Reagan, I oversaw operations at the INS. I served as IRS commissioner under President George W. Bush. While I have an extensive background in government, most of my work has been in the private sector, not just in the US, but also in Africa, Asia, and Europe. I know what it takes to create jobs and compete in today's global economy. I have made mistakes. But at 60, I am wiser and humbler than I once was. Still, I owe no one. I am unafraid to take on the special interests which enrich themselves at your expense. I am a conservative who understands the limits of the powers of the presidency and will execute the laws as written, not as I might wish them to be. I will devote my full energies to our country and our national interests. I will serve but one term. I love America and will do my best for her and for you. Join me by going to markforamerica.com. Let's begin our conversation about America's future. These issues won't wait for a time the politicians find convenient. I'm Mark Everson, and I approve this message.